everybody welcome back to another edition of the beards opinion food review that's right i'm back and uh it's been a crazy crazy the last few months and uh a lot of changes have happened a lot of things um i kind of talked about some changes in a couple videos ago and uh it's just it's been crazy this whole covid thing has really screwed things up for everybody um, and this election that's been going on and dragging out and stuff. I don't know who you voted for. I don't care who you voted for. Um, it just, <sighs> come on people. The way people are acting about if somebody wins over the other person and how they're doing the vandalism and other crap they're doing. Come on people, grow up. I'm not saying it's any of you guys. I'm just saying, how is the country supposed to function when it's like that? But. Today, we are doing one of my all-time favorite foods. Um, a little hint, I don't know if you can see what's in there. Uh, probably not very well. Got some pickled ginger, some soy sauce packets, that's right. You might have guessed it by now, maybe not. But, <clears throat> there's a place by my work, and I've never eaten there before. And I keep looking at it when I drive by and I'm like, oh, maybe I'll do it, maybe I won't. But they have a deal where you can get three rolls. And by rolls, depending on what you get, will determine on how much you get. But they have like a ton of selections. But three rolls for like $11.99. So that's not that bad. But the rolls I chose only have four pieces each. But it's gonna show, I haven't even looked at it. Oh my gosh, it looks delicious. <laughs> oh, wow. Look at that. And I got something different here. This is a uh, takoyaki. Takoyaki, for those of you that don't know, it's octopus balls. It's not their balls. <laughs> Anyways, it's like octopus little, like, I don't know, deep fried pastry, I guess. Not pastry, but deep fried dough with little chunks of octopus in the center of them. They call them takoyaki, which is octopus balls. Um, this one was a Hawaiian roll. I don't know what makes it Hawaiian, but it has tuna, raw tuna on top. This one's a happy one, which I'm guessing is kind of like a Godzilla um, deep fried one. And this one was a rainbow roll. It has tuna, shrimp, um, yellowtail, I think, and salmon on it. So, oh my gosh, it looks amazing. And then of course there's a little bit of wasabi right there. This looks so good, it smells good. Can't wait to get into it to try it. Just for you guys, because I love you guys. Before I do though, I've got to get a picture of this. I have a coworker, absolutely loves sushi. Can't stand this stuff. So, I'm gonna take a picture for him and tell him I went and got lunch for him. You guys, it smells amazing right now in my car doesn't smell fishy at all. There's like no fish smell. It just smells really good. We have our chopsticks and uh, you know what? I'm just gonna take the ginger and just eat some right now. Kind of cleanse the palate. Gotta have the ginger. I love pickled ginger. Mm. So good. I've always wanted to try some really good takoyaki. I've had some at a couple places. It wasn't that great. This one was like, looked pretty fresh. Look at that thing. It looks so good. And I don't know what they put on theirs, if that's a mayo or the mayonnaise, but let's see if I can kind of break this open and show you guys. Right there, look at, there's the octopus. See its little tentacles there or it's little suction cups on it. That's inside of those. Let's get into it. <laughs> Ooh, it's hot. Mmm. 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 That's good. Oh my gosh. That's really good. Of course, the octopus is really chewy. 
And usually there's only one little chunk of octopus in there. This one had like two or three chunks, like that one I showed you. And if they're done right, they're scalding hot on the inside. Those were done right because it was very hard to start chewing. Um, everyone, every time I see them like eat them in Japan and stuff on videos, they have to like let them cool down a lot before they can eat them and they, they end up burning their mouth, but. Uh -huh. Yeah. Very doughy inside. Mm. Let's go with a little soy sauce. I like to have some soy sauce on my sushi. Um, normally I dip my soy sauce and I'll, I'll mix my soy sauce with my wasabi. But today we're just gonna drizzle some soy sauce on top of the fish. It doesn't need a lot. Just enough to kind of flavor it. A little bit, which Honestly, the f flavor of the fish, if it's good fresh fish, it doesn't need much. And since I have nothing to mix my wasabi with the soy sauce in, we are going to just go like this, take a bunch of wasabi, put it on top of one of the pieces of tuna here. Ah, oh, come on, tuna's falling off. We'll put it on the rice and put the tuna back on top. There we go. Eat the takimasu. Oh. Mm. That tuna kind of got lost. It like dissolved in my mouth. It's still tender. I wish you guys could have some of this with me. That was the one that they call the Hawaiian roll. It looks like it's got like crab salad in it, cucumber, the tuna on top. This one's their deep fried one. It looks like crab salad inside as well with also a tempura shrimp. And then stuff on top, spicy mayo. And sriracha. Hmm. Really weird thing about that. It's actually cold. Flavor is amazing though. Mmm. Mmm. Okay. <clears throat> it's still crispy, even though it's cold. So that means it was made ahead of time. <clears throat> not shrimp in it. It's not like chewy or anything like that. It's not like too overcooked or anything. It's really tender. You bite down your teeth, just kind of easily sink through it. Such good flavor. That sriracha gives it a little bit of spicy kick to it in the back of your throat. It's actually really good. I love sriracha. Um, wow, that is good. We're gonna go with a little more wasabi and we're gonna put it on this piece of salmon back here. Let's try that salmon. Go a little more wasabi. I like wasabi. Sometimes you can do overdo it with the wasabi, but this one's not that powerful. So here we go. Kitake mas. Again, not fishy tasting at all, very clean and fresh. Um, it was a little tougher to chew than the tuna was, but that's excellent, it's really good. Here's one with yellow tail. Mm. 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 That crab salad was like made like really recent. It's really good. Good flavor. <clears throat> a lot of crisp um, cucumber in this one. Really good yellowtail. Again, not fishy tasting. About the same as the salmon trying to chew. Really, really good. You know, I'm gonna have to give this place, seriously. I am going to rate this place a solid a solid nine. I haven't had sushi in quite a while, but this is really good. Um, 
It's not like an all you can eat place where you, it's iffy on like what you get and everything. This you just order and pay for by the roll. Again, it was those three rolls for $11.99. Um, takoyaki for the four pieces was five bucks. So about a dollar a piece or $1.25 a piece. <clears throat> um, overall quality and everything, this is excellent. It's really good. I'm gonna give them a nine. You guys are way better than I was expecting. Just a small little joint. Um, yeah, it's really good. I enjoyed it a lot and uh, I'm gonna save this, go back to work and and uh, eat it in front of my friend that hates sushi. <laughs> Cause that's the kind of friend I am. Anyways, I love you guys so much. So nine beards out of 10. And uh, I hope to see you guys on the next video. Keep those uh, thumbs up coming, subscribers. You know, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe and a notification bell to see more videos. And uh, yeah, I love you guys, stay safe. And I hope to continue to make more videos for you guys. A lot more coming up here in the future. And let's get them posted and let's just take off and run with this thing. I love you guys and we'll see you on the next one.